hours free. Call 1-800-EARTHLING. Welcome back, everyone. Well, coming up in about 10 minutes on Headline News, our own Chris Osborne will be talking with heavy metal legend Ronnie James Dio about his contribution to rock history as the lead singer for bands like Black Sabbath and Rainbow, as well as his extensive solo career and his new album, Killing the Dragon. That's in about 10 minutes. The pastor of a Baptist got the spandex and the style moose. That's right. Chris Osborne is standing by with a veteran of the heavy metal wars. Hey, thanks, guys. Well, yeah, from Rainbow to Black Sabbath to his self-titled band, heavy metal legend Ronnie James Dio keeps rocking hard. We're going to talk to him live next on Headline News. Got a new album out. Keep it here. Tech update. Hello and welcome. I'm Chris Osborne. There's a good chance you know songs like Rainbow in the Dark, Holy Diver, Heaven and Hell, The Last in Line, They Ring a Bell. They're all sung by heavy metal legend Ronnie James Dio. He's been rocking for more than three decades. Former lead singer of Rainbow, Black Sabbath, of course, and now Dio. He joins us here in live. Ronnie James Dio, it's a pleasure to have you in the studio. Thank you, Chris. Great to be here. You've been at this for a long time with great success. Like a lot of your fans, I saw you in the early 80s, the Last in Line tour. I've seen you again recently. Your voice, it's so crisp, it's so strong. How do you keep doing it? Uh, I think it's uh, technique and attitude. Um, really all about technique. I think, uh, especially since it's such a physical thing to do, if you get a cold or the flu, just about all over. I've been pretty lucky. I mean, I never canceled a show in my life because that's the attitude and technique part of it. Uh, I insist upon not ever being stopped, and I know how to do it. Uh, you can find ways to fake it if you have to, but I've just been blessed with, uh, you know, some ability and uh, a strong mind to deal with it. Absolutely. I wanted to ask you about your new album, Killing the Dragon. I've got a clip, and before we talk about it, I want to show the audience a clip of a music video. The song is called Push, the album Killing the Dragon. Listen to it. That moves along very well. Let me ask you this. I wanted to ask you, this new album, it's vintage Dio, just no hold barred metal, really similar to the kind of music you were playing, you know, years ago. Right. Talk to me about it. That's exactly what I wanted to happen on this one. Uh, there had been a time, I think, when we be became just a little bit confusing to our fans. Uh, perhaps we tried to be a little bit too modern. Um, so I realized that that really wasn't working for me or for the people who wanted to hear what we had done before. So did an album before this called Magica, which gave the people all of the fantasy that we really have been known for, certainly my writing style has been known for. And I wanted this one to be completely the opposite of that one, so you got the other side of Dio, which was like the early albums, like Holy Diver, like Last in Line. An album driven by songs, and uh, a lot faster, uh, a lot more, I guess, metal, you'd say, than anything else. Very high energy, very metal, but about that, you mentioned your lyrics, the artistry. I wanted to ask you about that. Are there misconceptions about metal? Because you're known very much as one of the class metal singers. There's a real elaborate lyrics at times, a real artistry to what you put together. I try to do it that way. I mean, there's a, oh, you know, <clears throat> pardon me, that big voice going, going bad on you. Um, there's a the purpose in all that. Uh, I think that an audience must be tickled. They must be able to use their imagination. And I think if you write in terms, as I do sometimes, couched in uh, uh, analogies and similes, I think that you have to think about, Ooh, what does that really mean? And uh, I think that's good for the mind, good for the brain or the fan. Uh, I grew up uh, reading voraciously about dragons and knights and uh, the things that you see in Lord of the Rings these days. So I'm fashionable today. and. Um, I've tried to carry that on my career. That's what Killing the Dragon really is all about as well. It's, uh, it has all of those uh, nuances that people have come to expect in Dio, I think. Ronnie James Dio, live on Headline News. Heavy metal legend, thank you very much. Still going strong after all these years. Rudy, Mike, back to you. All right, Chris. Ronnie, thanks very much. Well, coming up, why the price of one of your favorite snacks is going up. Say it isn't so. That story more in the next half hour. I'm Michael Anos. I'm Rudy, back.